Good morning. That's right, it's morning. Uh, welcome back to the channel. And we are out here back at the facility on our off day, because that's the kind of person we are, to work on the love boat. Sweet tea. So, we've been doing a lot of the, I would say the grunt work of um, removing weight from the car. It's a lot easier than removing weight from ourselves. And honestly, not only is it easier, it's more fun. Um, so we're gonna trim out our uh, hinge area some. We've got our trunk lid just laid up here. We're, again, we're gonna pin it. We'll probably pin, pin, you know, four pins like a hood. Won't, won't technically look the greatest. I have to see how I feel about it with the pins. Um, and I mean, we'll just live with it. But I don't know, I might look at that and go, man, that looks kind of weird. But there's always Zeus fasteners, man. <laughs> Zeus fastened a metal trunk lid on. Uh, only in the land of Lincoln. Um, so, but we do have the trunk lid on, which it hasn't been on for, I don't know, four or five months. Is, so I'm so used to just seeing this here with a trunk lid on, it looks kind of weird with a trunk lid on. I'm like, oh, hey. Um, we'll probably look at our dash situation some more. Um, we can work on the fuel system. We also need to kind of finalize our radiator situation, get that fully kind of locked in. Uh, I hate to throw estimates out there of when it will actually be running and driving, um, but I'm probably thinking uh, two or three weeks, I think. I know that sounds like a really long time um, considering how much work's been done and stuff like that, but the, when, the amount of time I'm able to work on it in blocks um, and then waiting on parts, you know, getting certain little nit, you run into, like any project, you run into things as you get farther down the road, putting it together, you're like, ah, oh, I need that, ah, oh, I need that or I need this, especially when you're just redoing a lot of stuff. It's, you know, you're redoing a lot of things. So um, we'll have to do something with our alternator bracket. We've ordered an alternator for it. Uh, we'll, you know, we, there's a lot of, you know, waiting on parts sometimes. So that kind of, while we're doing that, while we're potentially waiting on parts, um, like I said, we've got a few parts coming in for it now. Uh, yeah, we'll work on other cars. We've got the silver car we need to work on. Um, we've got Trojan, of course, we need to work on. We've got the baby pro stalker that we plan on working on a little bit this weekend. Um, we got, a, you know, we got, so we got stuff to work on while we're waiting on stuff for this. But right now, like I say, I'm motivated to work on this car and get it going. Because as you guys know, we got 55. We got a deal we got to handle. And I know Kevin, he'll be... He'll get it going. He'll he'll start sneaking up on it a lot quicker than he's leading me to believe. So I got to be ready. You don't want to get ambushed. You don't want to get you don't want to sneak attack. You know, you know we learned our lesson Pearl Harbor kind of a deal. We ain't going. This battleship ain't get. We ain't sneaking up on this battleship. We're gonna be ready. We guns out all the time, loaded. Guns out. Radar's going. We're like this. We'll be like this all the time. We see anything that looks like if a shoebox was to fall off a shelf, we'll shoot it. 55 big square looking thing, box trucks, anything that resembles a 55 Chevy, we'll just, we're not taking any chances. So um, let me get to work, let me get my old friend the grinder, oh. We still gotta do the front frame rail, damn it, I forgot about that, wait a minute. Damn, they're not spinning. Ugh. That would have been a great presentation, wouldn't it, if it was spinning? Anyway, we got us a couple fresh death wheels here. So let's, let's fire it up. Quick update. We have sort of gotten our uh, Hinge stuff broken loose, and we were looking at, you know, cutting how we could cut the top of it out and this and that. Sorry for the light. But then we said, you know what? We should just, let's just do the, because it's spot welded into the package tray. 
So let's just clip it. Let's just take the whole set, just take the whole section out or <laughs> probably bring it out this way. But like I say, um, I've been talking, talking a little bit to my boy Anthony the other night or, and he was like, dude, just take the package tray out. And I said, yeah, maybe. But then I said, you know what, why not? I said, I'll nibble it out at some point, but why don't we just nibble it out now? Look at this right here, this weight. I need to get that out. It's, this is like roughing it in. I'm just roughing in all these things that are, I feel like are kind of quick, low hanging fruit, as I like to call it. Let's get it all out and then we can come back and at some point and uh, get some, there's a few little pieces of sound dead in there. Maybe we'll get that. I mean, I know we need to get it running. I know that, but there's certain, there's certain things that I want to get it to a point and then we can start, you know, working, <clears throat> working our way back. I just, I get obsessed is what happens. So like say these doors, I need to, I need to cut, I need to just do the whole deal on these. I did a, see, look at how much is actually left over there. And we will probably do that when we get our Lexan or acrylic in. We'll just, uh, we'll just do it then just get some extra out of that. It's not probably a lot of work for not a lot of gain, but I don't know. At some point we might put some like some, uh, just a acrylic over it, just a thin piece, just to cover the hole. Just, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm worried about it. Cause like there's a hole there. There's going to be a hole here. So I don't know why I'm worried about if the doors have holes, who cares? I think it's just cause the front doors, I don't want to say look cleaner, but they look cleaner. And then the back ones look like a, you know, freaking piranha chewed it open. So, um, I don't know. Maybe that, maybe that's some of it, but, um, Anyway, we are we are working we are working toward a goal. Get some weight. This thing's going. I'm. I'll be curious to see what some of you guys say. Now, the first person that says this thing's twenty five hundred pounds with me in it, you're banned from the channel. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna unperson you from the channel. I don't even. That's not even a thing I can do. But in my mind, I will have done it. So um, so let's don't go crazy with that stuff. But I think it's going to be pretty light, which means it's going to be faster than we could hope for because my philosophy, not a lot of power, can't really afford to build something that's super fast or super powerful that's got to run on race gas and things like that. I mean, for, any, for uh, just a quick example, while we're sitting here talking and looking, <clears throat> um, Pirate's Coupe with the nitrous, very fast. It's actually impressive, very impressive to me Stock cam, unported GT40s, system X, still speed density with, don't, doesn't really know what he's spraying. It's not like it's a 200 shot. It was like maybe 150-ish or something right in that area. Um, 410 gear, uh, AOD with a Silver Fox um, valve body and uh, a 32 or 3500 uh, perform, precision Industries Stallion Converter, which he has had for like 20-something years. Um, and went, you know, 669 at 100. It's 101. Very super basic combo. Um, but nitrous is 575 a pound. So he's got, a, and he's also mixing 110. And I don't even know what that cost a gallon. Mixing that in with, you know, regular unleaded, which is, you know, four, no, 93 which is you know what 470 around here it's like 470 a gallon plus 110 i mean then 575 a pound i mean you know it's nearly with tax it's 60 dollars to fill the bottle and then you're spending a you know just it's, it's a cost thing <laughs> so i can't afford to have like a high compression motor and stuff like that it's just cheaper for me to it's cheaper and that's what i like anyway is making stuff light with not a ton of horsepower and it doesn't break the motors don't break and stuff, blah, blah, blah. It's, I know it's, there's 10 ways to skin a cat. I just tend to choose the hard way, I guess. But anyway, so enough talking, this thing's get this thing is getting cooler by the cutting wheel. <laughs> That's pretty good philosophy. I like that. Tuss and tip cooler by the cutting wheel. The more you cut it, the cooler it gets. Um, so anyway, look at this thing. Maybe we'll have something, maybe we'll have something in the future for this coming up.
I mean, we got plenty of work to do, but you know, ideas are always flowing. <clears throat> All right, cool. Let's uh, let's get back to work. Dang, it's a lot of talking. Who's having a good time? This guy and this guy got his mechanics tan on. Um, you know, uh, that's a lot of work for not a lot of weight. So we're still nibbling away. We haven't got as much done as we'd like. We were been talking to Bruce a little bit and stuff like that. So, but we're enjoying ourselves, and that's sometimes that's a lot of fun too. <laughs> I guess when you're enjoying yourself. So yeah, we're getting things opened up in there. It's not going to be super pretty, but at least it'll be done. I don't know. We got we really got more important things to do than worry about this. But I just I can't help myself. I just can't freaking help myself. Okay, let me get back to it. Well, there we go. We got our other chunk of frame rail out. We are, man, look at this thing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look at all that right there. So, it's about, it's basically time to just go get lunch, get ready. So, we'll, uh, when we get back, I mean, man. A lot of time, a lot of cutting. Seem like we're still behind, but anyway, so we'll finish probably getting this out and then then we'll try and look at our dash a little bit and uh, that'll, that'll probably be our main emphasis for next week at work is working on the dash and getting all that set up and then uh, do the wiring. We still need to get the rad in, of course. But that's not a huge deal. We may work on we may work on that today. Just I don't know. I'm kind of getting tired of cutting. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, anyway. So all right, cool. Still got a lot of still got a long ways to go, but we're making a lot of steps. I think so. All right, I'm freaking hungry anyway. So let's go do the lunch. All right, there we go. This is uh made out of a bunch of garbage again from work. This is, these brackets are like from Home Depot or Walmart or whatever. They were, I used, I was, I used those to build some cat trees for my cats. Um, <laughs> but not going anywhere. And again, we're going to, uh, Bruce, uh, Yoda told me where some all thread, he thinks where some all thread is that that's actually kind of hard to come by out here. Um, that, uh, I can probably scavenge. And again, we're gonna drill a hole and up, and same thing over here, a hole and up, and then we'll just, you know, sandwich it all together. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't, you know, I don't think it's going anywhere. I hope not. And then of course, like I say, the nose will have a little bit more, I mean, this helps the side to side, of course, but the up and down, I mean, even though these are, you know, you can flex these, but still there's something here, so more support without any real weight penalty, so to speak. But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, it looks like total garbage, but you know, it all, oh, and uh, we put the water pump pulley on. It looks like a drunken child drilled holes out. And for the record, Tuss and Tip, don't let your kid drink at least below the age of 10. Um, and yeah, so, but it just fits with a the whole theme of, you know, if a hobo had a Lincoln and wanted to build a pro mod, <laughs> this is probably what would come out of his drug oddled, you know, uh, um, a destitute imagination. <laughs> you know, I can live in it and I can race it too. Man, it's probably also probably pretty popular with the ladies he leaves down at the bingo hall so anyway yeah i mean we're feeling it i don't know if you guys are feeling it i mean i'm sure some of you guys are feeling it that's not indigestion that's lincoln now that's what kevin's gonna be feeling kevin's gonna be feeling every bit of this and i'm gonna tell you what it feels just as big as it looks okay i mean you can, you can parse that however you want but that's just a fact. You tell Kevin that it feels as big as it looks. 
found us an old discarded piece of 3 8 all thread um, over in the scrap pile. We need about 11 inches of it. We'll cut this, whatever the hell they were doing with that off, and then we'll, it's all bent up, but we'll find us 11 inches of straight here and there. I could have got half inch, but why carry the weight penalty? <laughs> I mean, it's just, like I say, it's not, it just kind of ties everything together. So it'll all be good. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We got our first one cut and uh, we went over and you can see we cleaned it up on the, we didn't clean the whole thing up on the wire wheel. Why would we do that? That, that would make perfect sense. So now he's gonna drill some holes and then we'll just have to cut us another one and so on and so forth. So building a race car. <laughs> All right, we'll mark our spot, drill our hole. Look at this, look at what we're building. That is what it's gonna look like. Yeah, that's probably not straight. <laughs> But we'll uh, run a nut and a washer underneath, nut and washer up top. Then you can, you know, like spread it and make it, you know, nut and washer, nut and washer. So it'll be secure. It'll be fixed. It won't be, uh, you know, where it can move like this. It'll just be set. So now we just got to do the other side. We have got our second one made. Now we just gotta go drill a hole in the frame rail and uh, it'll be ready to go besides just obviously putting more nuts and getting washers for it. So I'm satisfied so far. <laughs> well, here you go. This is how you make your Lincoln into almost no Lincoln. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> sorry for the light I left it on. We, uh, you know, this is, this is really kind of more of a rough cut. We, I say that, we'll, we may come trim some of that back up. It's double layered, so that's why we had to readjust on our cut to get everything out. But we did get it, we did get it all out. Um, so this is like I say, how you take some of a Lincoln. There's 50% Lincoln I've taken out, hand puppets. Look, got his mechanics tan on again. He's already been washed like three times a day, but he just keeps doing it over and over. So, like I say, this is gonna be kind of cool. I know, you know, I just want to see it go down the track with a, leaving off a two-step <laughs> and then see it go down the track, pop, pop, pop in the gears and go, that's just not normal. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I'll get to see it. No one, no one else around here's really probably got the stupidity to want to do something like that. So it's up to me to make my own dream happen. I get to see it on video and I get to drive it too. It's a win-win for me. Uh, the, we didn't work on the dash any. Our drill battery went dead. We completed and I didn't bring the spare battery with me or the charger because I'm just that smart. Um, but we did get our other hole done. So we're ready to uh, permanent, temporarily permanent mount this deal. I'm actually really pleased with how this came out. Um, so, and that's good. <laughs> Being happy is good. Um, so, and I'm happy with what we got done. I would have liked to have gotten more done today, but we're not quite done yet. We're going to go get another Batabo blade and maybe we'll, uh, trim these doors up like I talked about. So let me go get one and, um, Maybe we'll do that and then this video will be probably done because it's just a lot of yakking and cutting. This was probably by far one of the worst, but <sighs> making progress though. That's all that matters. Snap-a-doodle, must be fate. Had one in the uh, toolbox. Cool. Oh, hey, check this out. Oh, damn it, man. Here's some, uh, that's some Tussin history right there, yo. Oh, you can't see the, yeah, that's, uh, oh, I don't have the year. <laughs> uh, 95? It was 95, both of those. Same year. God, that was rough, too. I got my, I actually finished in the, uh, like, top 15 here. I'd blown a head gasket the night before. Uh, street racing a guy with an Impala <laughs> in Houston or in Baytown. Um, did the drive with a blown head gasket, made three passes. It about it was about to melt itself to the ground, but I did finish in the top 15. It's like everyone that was on the list or whatever 
was like, it was like Texas, 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 Oklahoma, Texas, Texas, Florida, <laughs> Oklahoma, Texas, Texas. My average was terrible. It was like a 13, high, a low 13, but the car wasn't super, uh, you know, wasn't super beastly, but that's an embarrassment. I can't remember what happened. I think I missed a gear on one of them. So I ran quarter mile one time, and then that was a total disaster for many reasons. Um, just, bleh. but that's old school. That's I've had that 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 sticker's probably almost thirty years old. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, look at that thirty five. I'm sure a lot of people got old stickers and stuff like that. So anyway, uh. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, dang, look at that, just that quick. That looks better. I got a little aggressive at the bottom, but it looks better. It looks better than this one, which, you know, now we'll do it. But I don't know, we may need to go home. We may, I have to check the time. We're kind of running behind. I think there's something else. Dang it, that was gonna, anyway, that was gonna nip and I don't remember what it is now. Crap. Well, we're out of Matabo. We still got this little section right here to finish up and then and we'll nip off a little bit of the bottom just to whatever. But <clears throat> we're out of Matabo. We're out of time. Phew. Man, I'd like to say I did an honest day's work on this car, but I don't man, we spent a lot of time for hmm, I keep saying that, but um we got to finish the door like I just said, or just showed you. And I think that's it. We're, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Maybe we'll trim these pieces right here out. That I don't, I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm tired of grinding. I'm tired of using the cutter, the cutting wheel. I'm just tired of it. But you know what? I don't know what Kevin's doing right this minute. I don't know what he's doing. I like to think that he's trying to prepare, but I don't know if he is or not. All I know is, is that I can prepare. I can't worry about what my enemy is doing. I can't control that. I can only control what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is we're turning this thing into a gunboat. I think we all can see that now. Um, I, I, I almost feel sorry for him in a way. I mean, I kind of feel sorry for him anyway because he's got a turbo 350 in the car. And, I mean, so I, I feel sorry for him anyway. Um, but I do kind of feel sorry for him because we're putting in the effort. It's going to show. I believe it's going to show because this thing like I said we're going to show up and then we're going to show out. I'm starting to feel a little guilty. <laughs> I ain't feel guilty, man. To hell with him. We are going to lay him out. We are going to lay him out. I mean, ugh. I'm going to knock him out cold. He better be on Summit, eBay, Amazon, his local speed shop. We don't really have one. Down on the corner with the crack dealer trying to buy a nitrous kit. Give me some. He needs, he's going to have to mainline that stuff, man. I'm telling you, he's going, to, he's going to have to mainline it. He's going to have to snort it, take it intravenously, drink it, eat it, however he can get it. Get it inserted in him. I mean, just however, through a shot, whatever. Smoke it through the pipe. Whatever he's got to do, he's going to have to have that. Because we're going to put these E6s, and I don't have just one E6. I got two. And we're going to put them on him, and we're going to make us a Kev Dog sandwich. Just right there, and then we're gonna eat it. And he's gonna have to take it, like I said, he's gonna have to take it. Hey, we're back, brothers and sisters. We had us a technical difficulty, probably Kev Dog, he's more tech savvy than me, interrupted our transmission, our broadcast, right when we was getting that Kev Dog sandwich going. I'll tell you what, he done made me mad now, he done got me mad. I, didn't, I was feeling sorry for him, no pity now. No pity now, not at all. But I tell you what, brothers, hey, brothers and sisters, stay with me now. We are gonna, oh, Wanna donkey stomp him. Oh, okay. I want to thank everybody, everybody 
for commenting, for subscribing, for all the ways you support the channel, sending those magical gifts to me. I feel like a sultan. I mean, like a king, a prince of Egypt. I don't know, maybe not like that, but I feel really good. It makes me, it, it, I don't say it makes me, it's really nice. You guys send me a lot of great stuff, parts and just shirts and stick. It's just, it's really nice. No one should ever send me anything because I definitely don't deserve it. After this video, you stop sending stuff. Thanks for the support. That's three fingers. Look at that mechanic saying, it's almost, yeah, you look too hand puppet. Look, hey, woo, good job, fist bump. All right, cool, okay, you stay over here. Anyway, oh shit, sorry, no cursing, family channel. Uh, yeah, thanks for all the support. Um, thanks for watching. And until next time on the Substandard Leader and Fox Body, you know what? No, 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 no. Leader in Lincoln videos. The hell it on Fox Body's Lincoln videos. That's all we're doing now is Lincoln's. I can see it now. Mika Moskins, these cars. Going once, going twice, going to the internet, the phone seller for fifteen thousand dollars. It'd be oh my god! I just got a nineteen ninety one year old in champagne with a half vinyl roof. I'm gonna send it to fifty Tussin and eighty five Matabo blades, and it's gonna be magical when he gets done with it. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're doing Lincolns. So we'll see you guys next video, man. I done got in a bar fight. Woo!